All right, hey YouTube, it's Ryan from RK's iPod Touch Help again. And if you guys have been following my videos, I recently posted one on how to install VNC, which is how to get your iPod displayed on your computer screen. Today I'm going to do the vice versa of that and show you how to get VNC so your computer screen is on your iPod. All right. To start out with this, guys. I'm actually going to take you to the computer. All right. So here we go. All right, guys. As I did in my last VNC video, I'm going to give you the, a, uh, the URL address in the description, so don't worry about that right now. Hold on, guys. Alright. Alright, guys. Once you click on the link in the description, it should bring you to a screen like this. Real VNC, future comparison and download selector. Alright guys. You're going to scroll down the screen to the very bottom. And you're going to get the one on the very far left. It's just download and use. There's nothing by license underneath it. It's just that very far left one. Right here. Alright guys. You're going to click on that. Uh, you don't need to enter any of this information here. It's going to be another screen. You're just going to go simply to the bottom and hit proceed download. Alright guys. Now when you get to this screen, depending on what computer you have, I have a Windows. Uh, you're just going to click the executable version, which is the top one. Just uh, whatever computer type you have, you're just going to download the uh, top one for whatever that is. Alright. But if you have Windows, you're going to want to click the first one right here. Alright, just executable version. Alright, so you're going to click executable version. And you're going to get the license agreement and all that stuff. You're just going to simply hit I accept these terms on the bottom. And then you can download. Alright, I've already done this, guys. So, hold on one second. Alright, guys, after you accept the license agreement and you hit download, um, it's just going to take you through an installation process. Alright. So you're going to follow as they tell you to. It might tell you uh, it's, uh, it's blocking by a firewall. Uh, you can just take that down and hit accept because I've tried it. There's no viruses on your computer. Alright, so hold on. Let me get out of this for a second. After it's installed, you can either create a desktop icon or whatever you want to do. I did not do so. You're going to go to start. All programs. And uh, you're going to go to VNC server user mode. After you click on the real VNC viewer thing. Then you're gonna then you're gonna go to configure user mode settings. All right, guys. Gonna bring you a screen like this. You guys can follow me. All right, you're gonna want to go uh, VNC password authentication. All right. Uh, connections. You're gonna want to make sure all these numbers are the same. You're gonna want the first number to be 5,900. The second one 3,600, and the third one 5,800. All right. So after all that's as good as it needs to be, you're going to go to Configure Password. Alright guys, you're going to make whatever password you want. Just type in something random. You're going to have to type it in again, so make sure you remember what it is. Alright, you're going to click OK. And it's going to be all ready for you guys. So what you're going to want to do is just close out of the screen. Go back to uh, All Programs. Sorry guys, I'm zooming in a little too much. Go back to the Real VNC Viewer. And now you're going to go to VNC Server 4 User Mode again. And this time you're going to go to Run VNC Server. Alright. Hold on. I saw that twice. Alright guys, nothing's going to pop up on your screen. But in the uh, bottom right hand corner, between your toolbar and your little arrow there, you see something that says VNC. You guys know what I'm talking about, like where your clock appears. Alright, and that means it's up and running on your computer. Alright guys, if you have any questions about this installation process, please just message me, and I'll get back to you. Alright, so now it's all set up on your computer, so you need to go to your iPod. Alright guys? Okay. So I'm back at my iPod here. Now this VNC download is free. You don't need to do any city installer or anything. You just simply go to the App Store. Alright guys? And what you're going to search is right there, Mocha VNC Lite. Okay, guys, Mocha VNC Lite. 
and like I said, it's it's free. So you're just gonna click free, then install. All right, you're gonna back out. Your springboard might restart. I'm not sure. And then you're gonna get a screen looks like this. Hold on. You guys can see it there. It looks like a plasma TV in the middle. It's got VNC. We're gonna click on that. All right, guys. In the top left corner, it should give you uh, the options to connect or menu. And then you should have a big power button in the middle, of course. You're gonna click on menu in the top left. All right, guys. And you're gonna go to edit connections. All right. Now you have a bunch of blank networks. I have mine already set up. Okay. But uh, you'll click on a blank one like this. All right. It's gonna give you a VNC server IP address. Your VNS VNC server port. Sorry. It's gonna say 5,900. And then your VNC password, and then an optional name, and all the other stuff, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to enter the password that you just entered on your computer. So hopefully you guys remember that. All right. And then to get your IP address, it's not the same thing that's on your iPod. So if you guys have it memorized, that's not it. What you need to do here is, hold on. I go back to the uh, computer. All right, guys, you're going to hold your, hold oh, on, it might not work. You're going to hold your mouse over the VNC icon in your toolbar. If uh, you don't get a little thing that pops up on your IP address, uh, you're just simply going to uh, close it out. Yes. Now you're going to go back to all programs and uh, hit run VNC server again. Alright, now you're going to hold it over there. Alright guys. And then you're going to go to your, back to your, after you have your IP address, you're going to go back to your iPod. And you're going to type in the IP address that came up when you held your cursor over the VNC server. That's when you're going to type it on your iPod. Alright, guys? So after you have that, uh, everything else should be good if you entered your password. You're going to want to turn this 32-bit color mode on and save password on and all that stuff. But uh, you don't want to turn on the Mac OS X server, if you guys can see that. Alright, so after you have all this information in there, guys, you're going to go to the top right corner and connect. Oh, sorry guys, I was in the thing that I was showing you guys. I have mine already created. So I'm going to go into mine. And I'm going to click connect. Exact same thing. You guys can see that. Alright. Now, I once again, my camera sucks. I'm, I apologize for it, guys. Uh, I'm going to scroll to the side here. Oh, see, all my icons are on my iPod Touch. It's like a mini computer screen. I can even click on, but if you, you'll, the only downside about this guys is if someone's on your computer, so hopefully you have your own, um, you can't be on it because it controls the computer as you use your iPod. But hey, if you got your own computer, so. Here we go. So I'm going to click my tab bar here. See, it's going to see that VNC download thing on my iPod, but it also appears on your computer. Okay. And it's pretty cool, guys. I like it a lot. I think you guys will, too. And, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for the little mess-ups here and there. Yeah, I can kind of confuse with the password, but uh, please enjoy it, guys. Thanks.